Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Army Public School PME Kakul Resource Network. Students, I am your teacher Safina Jahanzeb. Before we start our today's subject, which is science, please subscribe the page and click the bell icon. Students, in our today's subject, we are going to discuss the third chapter of the book, which is about heat and energy. Today we are going to read about the third unit of book and the name of this chapter or unit is heat and temperature. Students, we have some objectives which we will try to achieve in today's lecture. First of all, we will define about the temperature. What is temperature? Then. We will see how temperature is measured. Afterwards, we will briefly discuss about thermometer. We will discuss about different types of thermometer. And in last, we will try to conclude our today's lecture and give a short summary to the whole lecture. Students, here in this slide, we have a clear and simplest picture of a thermometer. I am sure everyone has used this device to measure body temperature. The definition of thermometer is, a thermometer is a tool that measures temperature of any object. It tells or it mentions how hot or cold something is. Thermometers are used to see if you have a fever or it tells you how cold it is. Students, this tool is made up of a narrow sealed glass tube that contains a liquid inside as mercury. There are some scales marked on the glass tube or frame which indicates the level of temperature of that body. If the liquid inside glass tube arises or falls or expands and contracts, it means that the temperature of that body varies. Students, let's move towards the next slide and we will try to know more details about this tool. Here in this slide, now we are going to discuss about the definition of temperature. What is temperature? Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold an object is. Students here, we have a cup of coffee and it shows the temperature of that coffee how much it is cold or hot. It indicates that heat flows from the object with a higher temperature to the object with a lower temperature. Temperature is normally measured in degrees Celsius. Here we have another picture where we can see or we can judge the temperature of these two bodies. Students, 
now we are going to perform an activity and through this activity we will be able to know that how much our sense of touch accurately tells us about the temperature of any body students our sense of touch can tell us when something is hot or cold however our sense of touch cannot tell us the exact temperature of a substance so we will try to find out how accurate our sense of touch is in this regard we have an activity here we have two jars in jar a we have ice cold water and in jar b we have warm water in step 1 we will place right hand in the ice cold water and left hand in warm water step 2 try to estimate the exact temperatures of ice and warm water using your sense of touch record your estimate in a column step 3 now measure the temperature of the water in both jars or basin using a thermometer record your readings in next column after comparison of both readings you will realize how much close your estimates or sense of touch and exact thermometer readings now in this slide we will discuss about the next point which is measurement of temperature how can we measure the temperature of any body or object a thermometer is a device that measures temperature how hot or cold something is thermometer measures temperatures in different degrees mostly in celsius and fahrenheit thermometer used a wide range of activities including industry scientific research and healthcare purposes students here in this diagram we have the simplest form of any thermometer as we know we can measure temperature of any body in different degrees like centigrade or celsius or fahrenheit students thermometer is basically a sealed glass tube which contains a liquid called mercury whenever the temperature of any body rises the level of liquid mercury also rises dear students now we are going to discuss about the clear and simple structure of any thermometer. Thermometer is a narrow glass tube. A minute bulb is located on top which is filled by mercury. The reading of temperature is noted down through scale mentioned vertically over the glass tube. A liquid, usually alcohol or mercury, is sealed in a glass tube. When it's heated, it expands, rising higher in the tube. When it cools, it contracts, filling less of the tube. Students, here we have a clear diagram of thermometer. 
thermometer is basically a narrow sealed glass tube. Some scales are visible over the frame of this glass tube. A minute bulb is located over the top of the tube. This bulb is filled by mercury. Whenever temperature of any body rises, the level of mercury also rises. So now we will discuss about different scales of thermometer. Students, we will see how many different scales of thermometer and what is the basic difference between these scales of thermometer. So temperature can be measured through different scales. It is generally measured in degrees. The first common scale is Fahrenheit, second Celsius or centigrade and the third scale of thermometer is Kelvin. Students, in this diagram we can see these three types of scales of thermometers. The degrees mentioned over these scale are different from each other. Most common scale of thermometer which is used is Celsius or centigrade. Now here we have different types of thermometers. We will see how many types of thermometers and the use of these different types of thermometers. There are different types of thermometers which are used to measure temperature of different objects and in different situations. So some of them are number one clinical thermometer laboratory thermometer, fall thermometer, data logger thermometer and the last one is digital thermometer. Now we will discuss the first type of thermometer which is clinical or medical thermometer. It is the most commonly used type of thermometer. Students, whenever we feel sick or unrest, we can measure our body temperature through a device. This device is called clinical or medical thermometer. Through this thermometer, we are able to know the accurate temperature of our body. Students, the normal temperature of any human body is 37 degrees centigrade. Whenever the temperature of any body arises, the level of mercury is also arises according to the body temperature. So clinical thermometers are used to measure body temperature. When we feel unrest or sick, clinical thermometer is tool through which temperature can be measured. The normal temperature of any human body is 37 degrees centigrade. Students, now we will discuss the last point of the topic in the last slide of the lecture, wall thermometer and data logger. Students, these two types of thermometers are also commonly used for different purposes. 
So warm thermometer are used to measure the temperature of the surroundings. We basically use warm thermometer to find out the temperature of surrounding or environment. Second, our data logger and temperature sensor can be used together to accurately measure and record the temperature of objects and locations. Data logger is basically an advanced and digital type of thermometer. It is basically used to find out the temperature of objects and locations. So students, it was my today's lecture. Hopefully each and every point relates to the topic is quite clear. Students, if there is any question you can ask in comment box. So students, thank you so much and I would like to say goodbye to everyone with these words. Students, keep remember me in your prayers and Allah peace.